Okay, so I've had a bit of a play. Ah, what? Hello, and welcome to Broadsword Wargaming. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not it's worth it to buy cheap airbrush and compressor kits. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, my name's Oliver and in this video I'm talking specifically about the Voilmart airbrush compressor kit. Having just moved over here, I wasn't able to bring my own airbrush with me, so I thought, as well as ordering something big and full and sturdy, I might order something I can take traveling. I do a lot of traveling around anyway, so something small and compact could be worth a go. I'm gonna show you the parts to this and what I think to it and give you a little review at the end as well as a talk through whilst I'm doing it. Now, I am not really showing you how to airbrush. Uh, there are far better channels out there than mine, but I will show you and tell you a little bit about what I'm doing and why. So get ready to check this one out and I'll see you at the end. We've got the hose. This attaches to the bottom of the airbrush and into the compressor. Um, it's pressurized, so there should be no leak of, leaking of air. Um, there does appear to be a little rubber ring on the inside of both sides, so that uh, will stop the air pressure leaking, hopefully. Onto the other bits, we've got the compressor itself. This is the Voilmart compressor. It has an on-off switch and a mode which allows you to change the air pressure. There's no actual way to tell me what air pressure I'm running this at. It's just sort of low, medium and high, I think. So that's the compressor. Uh, power in, hose pipe attaches there. Don't really think there's anything else to it. The airbrush itself, now let's take a look at this. We It comes with the airbrush, we've got a little wrench for tightening things up. Uh, I assume it'll fit sizes as we go here. And a pipette, oddly, which is very nice. That's, that's always a handy addition, so something you don't need to buy if you wanted one. This is a dual action gravity fed airbrush. So the paint goes in the top and the gravity pulls it down. You can then press down and pull back for the amount of paint that goes in or the amount of air you're allowing to go through. Looks all in order. The actual switch itself is a bit clunky. Forwards and backwards seem fine. In and out. It doesn't feel like there's much in between all the way and not. I don't know if you can hear that clicking. I'll, I'll put it really close to the mic. That's the clicking when I'm pushing it down. So I don't know how useful that's going to be. It does feel a little bit loose. So here at the very back of the airbrush, if you tighten this, it stops you being able to bring it back. The bottom here is a different attachment in case you want to attach your own hose, but we will not. We will attach the hose provided um, into here. I mean, that seems fairly tight. Again, pretty solid. So this is the moisture extractor. So this will just keep any liquid or fluid out of the compressor, which is basically what you want to be doing. So I'm going to attach that to the bottom of the airbrush here. I would normally have one of these on the side of a bigger compressor. A bigger compressor. This has no tank itself, so it will keep flowing through, which isn't great necessarily um, for accurate painting. Very simple. Actually comes with a UK adapter, which is quite handy and we are lights on. So it'd be nice if the plug socket wasn't on the same side and then I could have flip it round. So we are kind of ready to go. So we're connected, we're ready to go. I'll hit the on off switch and see how we sound. That is high pressure. That's actually relatively quiet. On maximum you can hear it works and then as you pull the trigger down, It does seem to be relatively consistent airflow. It's quieter and definitely less pressure the lower you go on this. So we'll go medium then. I don't actually even know what PSI this is, so that's a bit random, but I mean, you can hear that buzzing in the background now. That is the airbrush compressor itself. So we'll turn it off for now and we'll put some paint in here. I'm going to just paint some grey nights up. I've got five done already. So I'm going to just do the zenithals on them. I might put some metal on them as well, just to see how it flows. But doing the highlights would be a good enough way to tell how this airbrush compressor works. So I've got a bit of the surface primer from Vallejo. This is the white. I've used some airbrush thinner in there as well. It's taken me a while to figure out what setting I like best. I've gone ahead and actually done a few models nearly off camera. I've done a few grey nights there, as you can see. My first impressions of using this are it does the job. As you can hear, it's 
relatively quiet. I mean, it does buzz, but it's not too bad. Uh, I've got a medium setting, which I found to be the best one. Uh, it seems to work quite well for me anyway, but maybe you might find this something different depending on how thick the paint is you want to move. When you initially press the trigger down to put the air through, it does sputter um, a tiny bit. So the, you can hear the pressure drop, as all do. So, you know, the general way to airbrush anyway would be to press that down before you start pulling it back. Um, it does actually stay quite consistent. It doesn't pulse or anything. It's a fairly consistent um, pressure, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a bit of airbrushing. Now, I'm not showing you really how to airbrush. Uh, I don't really think I'm good enough to do that. But the 0.3mm needle seems to be good enough to do the job on pretty much anything anyway. I mean, the more skilled you are, the better you're going to be able to make these things go. Can you learn with this airbrush? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, seems to be getting the job done here. I mean, there's a, different, a difference in build quality and um, the trigger action on this as there is to slightly better ones. There are tons of nice brands out there. There's very little movement to be able to go from maximum pressure to minimum or none on the airbrush itself. Uh, and you've also got a little bit of control, but the airbrush does the job. I think, yeah, cleaning is going to be an issue, uh, as is with anything cheap. Parts don't tend to be as good, so you're going to get more blockages maybe than you would on a different airbrush or a better one. And I'm quite enjoying this now, which I was painting them all for, the, for you guys. But back to the airbrush. Yep, the compressor seems to be okay. Holding up reasonably well. The airbrush itself seems to be doing a decent job. But yeah, we're kind of ticking along here nicely. I'll finish these up and come back and meet you guys at the end and let you know kind of a general overall thing. But hopefully I've shown you enough about what this is and how it works. And then, um, yeah, we'll hit it from there. So I'll catch you guys in a sec. Okay, so there you have it. You've seen the kit, you've seen the airbrush. Um, always a few issues, uh, not putting my mic on, spilling all the paint everywhere, but I got there in the end. Now, my impressions are, it's not bad. To be honest, I was expecting worse. Um, for 35 quid or whatever this was, pretty good. You've got a compressor, it's all kind of quite compact. You can leave it in the bit. You don't need to buy much else. It even comes with a pipette, which I was actually um, very happy about considering it's just a tiny plastic bit. Yeah, not a bad bit of kit. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna be in the long run for cleaning and things like that. I have a funny feeling it could be a bit of a nightmare, but it has got, as you open up one of the parts inside, is almost like a glue, which I guess is trying to keep the seal safe, um, but it is still wet. I'll find out and I will um, I will let you know, you know, as I go, maybe in a month's time, I might put another comment down below just to let you know how it's going on. But I do have a few friends who actually have this and my friend Ben has had this for years and has used this compressor. It's actually doing a really good job and it's still going. So for 30 quid, I, it comes recommended as a cheap set. And I would probably recommend this, especially if you're beginning or you want to start and you want to give it a go. I mean, I'm using it for models, but it could be used for cake decorating, could be used for anything really. It comes with a 0.3 mil needle, which is pretty much an all rounder. Uh, I'm not too accurate that I could sort of be doing eyeballs with it, but 0.3, I guess it depends how good you are, and the more skilled you are with this, the more you can do with it. So I'm using this for my base coats, and my zenithals, and my different little layers and glazes. So I'm quite happy with it. I think I could use this. A few issues obviously are probably the build, quality might not last. Uh, it does sputter a bit more than my old airbrush did just when you pull it down and pull it back. So make sure you do that off the model as you will just spray your model with like dotted paint. Again, that can also be down to just the um, thickness of the paint to the pressure. Now, I will check the instruction book, but um, it's a home. But um, yeah, it has low, medium and high PSI pressure. You can't adjust it manually, which again is something I miss because my old one, I could get it set to exactly what I was doing and depending on what I'm doing, you don't always want the same pressure. For a beginner or even just someone wanting to get something cheap and traveling around with, I would probably say this is not a bad buy and I'm quite happy I did. If you want to try it, it's not scary. It's quite really easy to set up as I showed you. Um, so yeah, get stuck in. If you've liked this video, guys, do remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the alarm bell below for more videos to come. Um, check out my links below. I've got an affiliate stuff down there. I've got Luke's APS with the Geek Gaming things. I've got a Patreon, and you can buy this airbrush or one very similar. I actually have a second one I didn't do a review on, but a second one that's very similar, um, and you can buy that through my Amazon link. Yeah, thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in another video.